So what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Apparently everybody, and I mean everybody, just went into coma after hearing the story, right? Yeah, at first we heard 100 million, 200 million dollars were spent making the Concord, the beloved franchise that they thought that this was gonna be. They had Concord 2.0 plan, they had Concord 3.0 plan, they were like, hey man, we're gonna have Concord 10, uh, you know, 10 years from now or something like that. But apparently we heard that they spent 400 million dollars and they made a profit a massive profit of zero like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders and first of all let me just drop this on you real quick and we're gonna get into it roll it it's not that so the reason i'm telling Wait you all it. this it's some interesting information of course but it's that i had said when people were like concord lost 200 million dollars now people were pulling that money out because that's basically how much like some of the first party games like ghost of tsushima yeah the last of us part yeah, two yeah. etc kind of Wait cost in that it. frame and I was like, there's no way that it costs that much. I, I was saying like, it costs nine figures probably, like low $100 million, but there's no way it costs $200 million. No, mm -mm. it costs $400 million. So, and I am totally solid on this source, by the way. So that's why I'm willing to share it with you. Because again, I don't, I'm not really a journalist. So yeah, the big things to take away, $400 million loss. The game was in horrible shape as of 18 months ago before release. Yeah. Not even monetization, no onboarding, most content not even there. The game was in such bad shape at that point that they spent the budget of it again in urgent outsourcing to get the game finished from all these different angles over an 18 month period. So they were like, the game is crap. Let's actually pour, uh, let's just burn more money to get it out faster so people can clown on it, which the gamers did. Now, mind you, gamers have clowned on it and understandably so, but what's this, what's coming next is shocking. The, this made headlines and gamers are not able to cope, man. And, and if you're like, hey, Skizzle, like, I also want to get to the level where I'm not able to cope. Trust me, you don't want to, man. You don't want to, man. I know. I know what happened. And I'm telling you that you should just go back. Reverse. You know, take your... Just just reverse it. Just reverse it. Don't drive. Just put your gear on the R. Reversing, okay? Because the retardation that you're about to hear from this, off the charts. No limits. Roll it. Internally, the game was considered part of the future of PlayStation there with heavy cross media references and a system of toxic positivity surrounding it that that didn't allow anyone to meaningfully change the course of the game. So well Crazy. done, Colin, on getting all that information. And I now present yeah. to you a Kotaku journalist. I know Kotaku. I know. Well, let's just see what he says here real quick. He says, I can corroborate the part about toxic positivity. Some sources I've spoken with blamed a head in the sand mentality carried over from the studio's bungee roots. A sense the game would come together because the team was too good to fail i'll have more next week and also in concord news i, I want to actually uh, shout out the homie hero hey so shout out to the homie hero hey another thing that we're now learning this is gonna be shocking fella so you you know this fella right do you know this fella oh shit, oh shit. yeah but we're not talking about him okay this is neil Druckmann from naughty dog the guy famously behind the abby the brock lesnar dude in the last of us 2 killing joel for the sake of it because they don't like families in video games anymore like what are we talking about man I, hey man listen man i get it man i get it but like damn i don't get it at the same time Bruh. though but apparently this is herman holst now what we're learning is that this 400 million dollars plan was of Herman Hulst and he was like uh, saying this was his baby this is what we're learning okay according to Colin uh, this is what we're learning that Concord was his baby and he pushed it super hard for that game to come out and they spent 400 million dollars on it do you remember this time man these were legendary times man the Black Ops 2 era yeah like this photo this one is a certified hood classic, you know, when when life was simple, man, when all the gamers were like, it's gonna keep on getting better, man, we're gonna get better games, better games, and better games from here on out. That was a big lie, right? Yeah. But guys, don't worry, man, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Roll it. So a ton of new information has just wait been for, released about for. Concord, including the actual cost of the game, which is apparently about $400 million. Yeah, Prior crazy, rough yeah. estimates were between 50 million to 150 million USD. So if this figure is accurate, then it's significantly worse. This also seems to make Concord Sony's largest failure ever. Amplifying yeah. that loss is that Concord apparently had the largest budget out of any Sony game that they've ever made to date. And that Sony even- Even Spider-Man 2 and God of War Ragnarok 
didn't have that, that high of a budget, man. We thought this could be their version of Star Wars, hoping to profit off Concord Crazy. long into the future. That's just a quick summary of some of the new information presented by Colin Moriarty. In a clip he posted, that's just over eight minutes long. Okay, I had to Google this one real quick. The the GTA 5 budget, and what we're learning is that GTA 5 budget was $265 million. <laughs> And that game is considered to be like one of the, the 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 best, right? I'm not talking about online. I'm just talking about like the story mode, right? Yeah, Concord apparently, in their in in their way, in their in the, in their opinion, in their mind, is a is a better game than GTA 5, guys. It's better than GTA 5, man. Long. I don't we'll go it. over some of this stuff in more detail and we'll also further talk about this and then I have another source that I also want to show you too. Now that takes us to this tweet where Colin Moriarty says, I spoke extensively with someone who worked on Concord and it's so much worse than you think. It oh. was internally referred to as the future of PlayStation with Star Wars like potential and a dev culture of- at, at, at this point just sell PlayStation to uh, Microsoft, man. Sell it, sell it to Phil Spencer! Sell it to Phil Spencer right now! Immediately! I cannot see you die like this! I cannot see you go out like this! I cannot see you go out like this, okay? We deserve better than that, bro. We deserve better than that, bro. Damn, man. Toxic positivity halted any negative feedback, making it cost $400 million. And now Dude. before I start playing what I view as some of the highlight areas of the clip, I've actually got a little more of a summary to go over, that being about the first four minutes of the clip, since I can just recap this pretty dang quick. But like I also mentioned, some of this we will break down in further detail. So the clip begins with him talking about this anonymous source of his, where he essentially says that someone who worked on Concord approached him, and he spent a great amount of time checking and confirming that that person is who they say they are. After that, he goes That's on good. to talk about the financial situation, and that 400 million dollar figure as mentioned it sounds like by 2023 say it it ain't so man because like a lot of gamers were like you know they spend 100 million dollars oh that's cute that's cute right i mean that's still a lot of money man can a brother get two pennies man that's all i'm asking for guys but after finding out after knowing that they spent 400 million dollars on it oh man sony keep your two pennies bro <laughs> keep it man you need it more than me, okay? I don't need the two pennies anymore, man. Listen, man, I, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll make a temporary truce right now. I'll, I'll just say, okay, this time I don't need the two pennies, all right? Like, I, I get it. Like, you are the one that is in dire need right now. This is why they're selling the PS5 Pro for $700. This is exactly why they're doing it. This is why Three, they're doing around it. Around $200 million was already spent on Concord. And that was before Sony purchased Firewalk Studios. After Sony, around $200 million was already spent on Concord. And that was before Sony purchased Firewalk Studios. After Sony acquired Firewalk, they spent another $200 million on the game. All of that yeah. simply to get the game to minimum viability. It sounds like before Sony got involved, Firewalk was already a giant mess. Doing who the heck knows what with the $200 million that they already had. Because the game was apparently in a pathetic state. Although, of course, we already know how the end product also ended up being but yeah okay now with the first four minutes or so summarized i'll let parts of the clip speak for itself the game cost about 400 million dollars to make soup to nuts <laughs> sony put most of that money in and um it is not only so because we had kind of said like this must be sony's biggest loss ever on a game and it is mm -mm. it's the biggest game sony's ever released from a budgetary standpoint from the first part i, I mean like listen I, I their budget was bigger than gta 5. what are we talking about here how is that even possible party your second party so let that sink in. It's crazy. And it's totally unintuitive. It's more than just crazy, my man. <laughs> I, you know, it's more than crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. I, I mean, I'm not like trying to clown on the guy or anything like that. Like, yeah, it is crazy. It is indeed crazy. You are right. But I believe that it's more than just crazy, man. But I get it, right? Like, none of us are... None of us have lost $400 million, so... We don't have any relatability factor, right? This is why I'm saying, guys, don't laugh, okay? Don't laugh. Yeah, don't laugh, guys. It's a, it's a sad day. It is a sad day, man. It's a sad day. There are more, there are games that are in development right now at Sony First and Second Party that are more expensive than this. But as of the games that have come out so far, so think about like Spider-Man 2 and yeah. so on and so forth. We know The Last of Us Part 2 cost $220 million. Spider-Man 3 is going to cost about $350 million. This game costs more than that. And they lost all of it because they made no money. They made about a million dollars gross revenue. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they gave it all back. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is a huge uh, context. Apparently, what we heard is that they couldn't even make one million dollars. So therefore, they delisted the game and they refunded everybody. So even the amount of money, even the amount of money that they made, they were like, guys, let's take it. it. It's fine. We're gonna give it. We're gonna give you back, bro. Yeah. What are we gonna do with one million? We spent four hundred million dollars on it. Why you suckers didn't buy the game? That's what Sony said. All right, let's get back to it. 
huge multiple hundreds of millions of dollar loss. So now skipping ahead, here's where he talks about that whole like Star Wars thing. Like Sony really thought this would be their Star Wars. They really thought they were going to make so much money for years and years off Concord. The situation was already amusing. We thought they spent like 50 to 150 million dollars on this game. And it's just like astronomically worse than that. The idea behind this was, and the term apparently verbatim had been used, that Concord is the future of PlayStation. That they had such major ambition for this game that it was referred to internally as a Star Wars like project for Sony. Yeah. That it can be repeatedly revisited over and over and over again, not only in cross media, but in what we were seeing. We've already kind of. Yeah, look at them, man. They are like. <laughs> you suck as crazy, man. I swear to God, man. I swear to God, bro. Sony really is like, yeah, man, this is the future. And, and apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah, uh, it's, it is Sony's future, according to Herman Hulst. And yeah, oh shit, I forgot to say that, right? When I was talking about it. So yeah, uh, like I said earlier, what we learned is that this was Herman Hulst baby. So Concord was Herman Hulst baby. Uh, and he wanted this game to come out like no other game. And apparently Herman Hulst is the current CEO of PlayStation. Oh, shit. I forgot to add that, man. I forgot to add that, man. Somebody comment that for the, the, the viewers that might not be around this part of the video, right? Comment that in the comments below, right? So other people find out. And that, that's the part that I'm like, bruh, like, bruh, like, what is going on, Ed, man? Like, damn. So if the CEO is pushing for that, it's over. Listen, man, like, Xbox One, PlayStation 3 era, one of the best era, in my honest and humble opinion. You can disagree, though, and that's perfectly fine, man. That's perfectly fine. We all got over preferences, and I welcome the, all of your preferences with open arms, but... Even if you disagree, I guess we can agree that we had some of the best games uh, around the era, right? Even if you disagree, but if you agree, we had some of the best games around the era. And after Xbox 360, the reason Xbox One failed was because of uh, the, the new guy, the CEO that took over, or maybe it was the old CEO, I don't know, but maybe the old CEO, but with different ideas. You know, it just takes one bad apple, guys. It just takes one bad apple. And we, we know what happened after that, right? Xbox went down the drain. Uh, and still to this day, Xbox is having a hard time. So this is why, like, Phil Spencer always has to go on apology tours whenever some bad news comes out. And he has to say, yeah, sorry, guys, we cannot compete with PlayStation, Sony. He said that a couple of months ago or a year ago at this point. He did say that. We clowned on him. Everybody clowned on him. Gamers clowned on him, right? To certain degree understandable, but to other degree not so much, but like damn, right? Gamers just want one thing and one thing only. Good games. Simple. Simple as that. Like the video if you agree. Like the video if you just want good games, man. That, that's it. That's all. That's what we want, right? My point is that, yeah, and I wanted to actually show you guys this. So this GameStop uh, tweet hits hard after PlayStation Concord shut down. If you guys do have Twitter, I would definitely love to have you there. But check this out, right? GameStop four hours ago and I believe they said it back uh, September, on September the 3rd or something like that they say I have some bad news for you that's what GameStop said the guy responded by saying you were the ones that sold it to me <laughs> talking about Concord obviously talking about Concord obviously and man these suckers crazy bro these suckers I've crazy. seen little bits of it so the weekly story vignettes that they were gonna release and then of course the inclusion in Amazon's um, secret levels anthology that's like just scratching the surface of it. Ironically, the game was codenamed Chaos behind the scenes. And um, oh a major thing about the game is that there was, and I think we can kind of get this vibe from just the nature of the people making it and kind of the way the game reads and all that, a toxic positivity vibe. You weren't allowed to say anything apparently internally about this game. Okay, let's pause again because that's absolutely hilarious. First of all, that in of itself is hilarious, but the way he phrased that too, like, I think we could kind of tell because of the sort of people that worked on the game. And it's like, yeah, no kidding. For example, look how some of them acted as soon as people started criticizing the game. We had that one Concord dev calling anyone who criticized the game, quote unquote, talentless freaks. Dude was like freaking yeah. out on their Twitter account, insulting people, and then going into protected mode and even removing Concord from their own bio. Then there was that senior concept artist, Amanda, who saw another artist criticizing the designs of Concord. And then Amanda was saying in this post, the character concept art team, including myself, is going through an extremely difficult time emotionally, and some on the team no longer want to work in games, design characters, Damn. or even do art anymore after this, because Bruh. of this post like yours. So understandable Bruh. are unfortunately ill-timed. None of us know which way the wind will blow at the studio. We're worried, sick, and terrified of the future. Not only that, but- uh, it, it blew from all directions. It blew, the wind did blow. The wind did blow from all directions. 
we have been shouldering the brunt of the emotional labor. Yeah, no, this whole thing that I read before, I don't want to repeat the entire thing. The point is, yeah, this whole toxic positivity thing at their company really checks out. These people acted like they never got criticism before. And then as soon as they got any, they- I don't like your vibe. I don't like your vibe. You are negative, Nancy. We want to be positive here. We don't like your opinions. We don't like- You are so toxic. You're toxic, manipulating. Men are menace to society. Men are wrong. I'm just strong. I'm independent. I am dad's little princess, but even my dad is not so positive. So he's negative. Dee they displayed immense levels of unprofessionalism. Returning to the clip, we left off here. You weren't allowed to say anything, apparently yeah. internally, about this game. About how, like, something's wrong with it, character designs are not right, um, and so on and so forth. They really, truly believe this was Herman Holst's baby, apparently. Uh, yeah, that, that, yeah, bruh. 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 B bro, like, damn, this thing is crazy. Concord director reportedly steps down. <laughs> Firewalk fears layoffs. Now, I don't want to see anybody lose their job. But damn! But damn! I don't want to see anybody lose their job. Let me say that again. But damn! What are we talking about, man? You got everybody looking like this, man. Like, homies just cannot... Gamers! For the longest amount of time, gamers have been coping. Seething even sometimes. Fanboying. For the sake of fanboying. Sometimes, you know, calling games uh, that are 2 out of 10 to be 10 out of 10. Gamers do that. A lot of gamers do that, man. A lot of gamers do that. But even those gamers I had enough. They cannot even cope with this one. $400 million! You guys out of your goddamn mind or something? You think it's crazy? You could have funded 20, 30 indie devs to make solid ass games, bruh. Or you could have funded like <laughs> two or three AAA games out there to make solid ass AAA games. And if you funded 20 to 30 indie devs, at least they're bound to be some good games. I would say minimum of one at least. I would even go as far as to say five good games out of 20 or 30 studios. You would get your return on the money. You would get a return on investment. You would get that ROI, son. You know, like, Helldivers 2, for example, was made by AA Dev Team. Yeah, you could have, you know, funded that much. Okay, let's not even talk about 20, uh, 25 or 30 studios, right? Let's just keep it like, for example, uh, let's just, let me just put it this way. 10 solid AA Dev Teams. You could have at least gotten two Helldivers-like games. When I, what I mean by Helldivers-like game is that the ones that people would download and play the game and you would then ultimately make money out of it right because after all that's your goal right you don't care about the gamers uh, you just care about the dollars uh, and i get that too I, I get that to a certain degree i mean i get that because it's uh, it's a business i understand that it's a business gotta make the money gotta make the money i get that but at the same time you gotta provide a quality product too you gotta provide a good game too man it's a it's a yin and a yang. It's a yin and a yang. But apparently this was Herman Hulse baby. And now he is the CEO. <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. I really don't feel so good. Like the video if you got the reference. And he internally was it was himself a massive champion of the game. There so you go. it's not that so the reason I'm telling Ooh. you all of this, it's some interesting Ooh. information, of course, but it's that I had said when people were like Concord lost two hundred million dollars. Now people were pulling that money out because that's basically how much like some of the first party games like Go to Tsushima. Yeah, the Last yeah, of Us yeah, Part right. Two, etc., kind of cost yeah, in that yeah, yeah, frame, yeah. and I was like, "There's no way that it costs that much." I, I was saying like it costs nine figures, probably like low hundred million dollars, but there's yeah, no yeah, way yeah. it costs two hundred million dollars. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He right though. He right though. And if you have been around the channel for a minute, this is what I have been saying, right? Like because we heard hundred million, and I'm like, okay. Then we heard two hundred million, uh, and then two fifty. Somebody want, uh, said as well, and I was having a hard time believe that. I was like, okay, let's keep it like minimum of uh, the game they spent a minimum of 100 million and it's laughable then as well it's laughable at that point as well rightfully so but i i couldn't uh, yeah like i couldn't say 200 million it's just like yeah really it just yeah it doesn't like bruh well, what game are we talking about are we talking about gta 10 or something like that we're talking about concord man one of the trashiest game on planet earth this game belongs in one place and one place only garbage that's where it belongs, and that's where it's headed, apparently. It already headed there. It's already there. Uh, yeah, so I was having a hard time 
But then we heard 400 million. My EXE broke. My EXE broke. Everybody EXE broke. No, it costs 400 million. So, and I am totally solid on this source, by the way. So that's why I'm willing to share it with you. Because again, I don't, I'm not really a journalist. So yeah, the big things to take away, $400 million loss. The game was in horrible shape as of 18 months ago before release. Not even monetization, no onboarding, most content not even there. The game was in such bad shape at that point that they spent the budget of it again in urgent outsourcing to get the game finished from all these different angles over an 18 month. Yeah, we're, yeah, we spent 200 million. The game don't look good, man. Let's spend 200 million again, bro. <laughs> so, and Sony apparently bought the studio, so uh, some people are pointing out that they must have paid money for that. And you're right, you're right. But we don't know much more than that. Perhaps the extra 200 million they spent includes the buyout as well. Because, like, yeah, right? Like, they, they spent 200 million dollars, and what we're hearing is that game was in such a bad place. Then Sony came in, spent 200 million. Yeah, like, on what? CGI? Okay, but that CGI, like 200 million for that CGI or 100 million for that CGI? Nah, man, like you gotta be like a million, not even a million for the CGI though. Like, let's be real. But listen, man, I don't know how the CGI crap works, but okay. Period. Internally, the game was considered part of the future of PlayStation with heavy cross media references and a system of toxic positivity surrounding it that, that didn't allow anyone to meaningfully change the course of the game. So well done, Colin, on getting all that information. And I now present to you a Kotaku journalist. I know, Kotaku, I know. <clears throat> Let's just see what he says here real quick. He says, I can corroborate the part about toxic positivity. Some sources I've spoken with blamed a head in the sand Holy. mentality carried over from the studio's bungee roots. A sense the game would come together because the team was too good to fail. Uh, Kotaku coming into the yeah. rescue! I, I never thought that we would hear that from Kotaku. Is Kotaku secretly trying to make a comeback? I don't know, mate. I'll have more next week. And also in Concord news, we had this. From gamesindustry.biz, they say Concord director reportedly steps down, Firewalk fears layoffs. A quote from a former developer saying, Ryan deeply believed in that project in bringing players together through the joy in it. Regardless- Jim Ryan? And he peaced out too. Oh shit! He peaced out too. And then Herman House took it over. Yeah, that was his baby apparently, and he's now the PlayStation. Listen, man, the fact that he's the PlayStation CEO, it's over, man. And listen, I'm a, I, I, I love PlayStation, man. I love me the PlayStation too, man. Yeah, like, I have a PlayStation. I want to obviously see good games, man. And if you play on Xbox, yo, brother, come in, man. Come in. I know it's kind of wild out here, bruh. Like, yeah, we getting no games, man. That's one thing we have in common. That's one thing everybody have in common, right? That's the one thing that we have in common, and that is no games, guys. We love it. We love it. And Jim, Jim Ryan really believed in that. And that Kotaku guy said next week we're going to have more. Sequel confirmed and game part two coming. List of there being things that he could have done differently throughout development, he's a good human and full of heart. They add, sources also claim that Firewalk staff are uncertain of the studio's future. Some reportedly believe that it could become a co-development studio on other Sony projects, while many Please. have allegedly shared concerns of layoffs and a possible shutdown of the studio. In Concord's official statement regarding the shutdown of the game, they did technically imply that they might relaunch the game at some point in the future. Obviously, that right. already seemed highly unlikely, and it right. seems to only be getting even less probable. At least it's given all of us a lot of entertainment, and it's hopefully yeah. been a giant wake-up call for the greedy AAA industry. As for the set- nah, please. It's like don't let them co-work on other franchises then it better be joe or son but guys check out this video on the screen look crazy story crazy story i'm not sure if you guys saw this or not but if you have not seen it then check it out if you already seen it then check out the video on the left man and i'll see you right there